Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Regine. I hope all of you are doing well and are staying safe. So, today I am so excited to tell you this story because I loved this story when I was younger. The title of my story is Tommy's Bad Choice. Tommy's Bad Choice. So, Tommy is seven years old. How old is Tommy? Seven years old. So, one day at school, Tommy's teacher, Mrs. Brown, announced that the class will be going on a field trip to the zoo. Isn't that exciting? Tommy was so excited to go to the zoo. So, the next week, the class got on the bus and made their way to the zoo. When they arrived, they could see animals already. Ooh, I see alligators, Tommy's best friend, Jacob, said. I see them too, Tommy said. Quiet down, children, Tommy's teacher said. I know all of you are very excited to see the animals, but we need to stay together at all times or else someone will get lost. The children said, yes, Mrs. Brown, but most of them were still busy spotting animals. The bus will leave at one. So they got off the bus and made their way first to the flamingos. Tommy wanted to see other animals like lions and tigers and alligators. So he told his friend Jacob, let's go, let's go look for the alligators. His friend Jacob was about to go, but then he said, no, Mrs. Brown said not to, so he stayed. And Tommy said, fine, I'll look for all the animals by myself and I'll see more animals than anyone else. So he left the group and made his way to the alligator's cage. Then he went to the chimpanzees. They were funny. He found a bag of peanuts on the floor and he started feeding the chimpanzees peanuts. He loved feeding animals, even though he saw a sign that said, no feeding animals, but he did it anyway. A security guard then passed by and shouted at Tommy. Tommy was so scared that he ran away. So then, when the guard was out of sight, he stopped to catch his breath. Then he realized something. His class was not there. He was lost. He ran from cage to cage, passing all the animals, not stopping to look at them. He found himself at the flamingo's pond again. Oh no, Tommy said. He was lost and he was so scared. He spent all day running in the big zoo looking for his class. And then he saw a big clock that was right about to hit one. He ran to the exit of the zoo and saw his class in the school bus. He nervously got in line. When he got in the bus, the teacher said, Where were you, Tommy? We were looking for you all day. Sorry, Mrs. Brown, Tommy said. On their way back to school, Tommy's friends were shouting of how much they loved the animals. I love the elephants, one of them said. The lions were the best, another said. No, the zebras were the best. Tommy was so sad because he didn't see any of those animals. He was too busy looking for his class all day. The kids talked about how much they loved the zoo for the rest of the trip. After class, Tommy went to talk to his teacher, Mrs. Brown. I'm sorry for disobeying you, Mrs. Brown. It's just I wanted to see the animals before anyone else did, and I wasn't really interested in the flamingos. It's okay, Mrs. Brown said. I hope you learned how it's important to obey your teacher. Tommy said, yes, I know. Tommy had learned to obey his teacher, his parents, God, and elders. We need to obey our elders too. In Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 3 it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. So let's obey God and our teachers and our parents because it's the right thing to do. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for this wonderful Sabbath day that is going well. As we go through this day, may you be with us, forgive us of our sins, help us to obey you, our parents, and our teachers, our elders, in everything that we do. In your name I pray, amen. Bye.